Hey guys, it's Sailor Tortilla, and today we're going to talk about something a little different than what I usually review. Um, I have this really interesting item that's just floating across your screen. This incredibly strange item that I found on a website called Wish that sells a lot of Chinese items, a lot of the same stuff you'll see on like Alibaba. And what it is, is, you know, it's a crystal star, right? It's about the same size as the Gashapon, a little smaller, little larger than the miniature Lee tablet. It's definitely more pink, but this is an MP3 player. <laughs> and when I got it, I was like, no way. See, it's got volume buttons, play and pause, next song buttons. It's a little place you could put a lanyard or a keychain and the headphone jack. Um, it has a Bluetooth mode. I didn't know this when I got it. What you can do is you can preload. Here's the USB to charge it. You can preload into a micro SD card your music. I have a four gig in here. I put the 25th anniversary cover album. You just slide it in. This device has no, whoop, gotta push it with your nail. Ooh, it makes a scary noise, doesn't it? This has no internal memory, so you're gonna have to use your own memory card. This is the on off button. Um, you hold it to turn it on, or you press it to turn it on, um, and a little voice will come out out of these speakers here. There's a little moon, this player, MP3 player, it's all in Chinese. This is not a Japanese item. Oh, look, you can see me. Hello. Um, this is a bootleg item. There is no such thing as an official Sailor Moon MP3 player. Uh, so a little voice comes out of here and it tells you Bluetooth mode or music mode. And it's kind of creepy. Let's see if we can hear it. Oh, no, you gotta hold it, see. It kind of has a blue light on the inside. You can see a little bit here. And what Bluetooth mode does is it plays the music from your phone, which is kind of nuts. Um, I'm recording on my phone right now, so I can't show you. I also don't want to get in trouble with a uh, fair use, but I only have the 25th anniversary album in this card. Um, and I can play a perfect circle <laughs> from my phone on a here. Now the sound won't come out of here, you have to connect some headphones to it, just like this. Kind of sticks out a little bit. It's pretty, pretty, uh, pretty obvious how that works. To swap between music mode and Bluetooth mode, you hold the play and pause button. Ooh, yeah, that sound is coming out of here. I can put the volume up. Skip track. Whoop, skip. Oh no, it's not paying attention to me anymore. Oh, there it goes. Oh. Yo, some of these covers suck, but we'll talk about that later. Um, so yeah, I have a four gig card. Um, I just decided to put some Sailor Moon music on here because, you know, I have my phone, it has my own music. Um, I think the Bluetooth mode, since it plays music from your phone, you know, your phone's handheld, this is handheld, it's really only useful for someone who has an auxiliary cord in their car, and your car doesn't have Bluetooth. Um, and maybe your phone doesn't have a headphone jack, like mine doesn't have a headphone jack, so you just plug this in and then put it in Bluetooth mode. Let's see if we can make the voice come out again. Nope, not today. Well, it's being a little temperamental, but this will turn it off and a little voice will come. So you hold this and you'll hear. Power off. Creepy female voice telling you that this is going to power off. So, um, it's a really weird item, really interesting item. Um, I just put some Sailor Moon music on there so I can just, you know, oh, here's some Sailor Moon. Bam, put it on. Um, on a side note, 
between the Sailor Moon 25th anniversary cover album that just came out this month and the Sailor Moon Classic Concert album that came out at the end of last year. I highly recommend the Classic Concert. Uh, I think I'm going to talk about that on my very first episode of my podcast. That should be coming out soon. Um, Let me know what you guys think. This is kind of a crazy weird item. Um, I found it on wish.com. I'm sure you can find it on other places. A lot of times it comes bundled with the Sailor Moon Moonstick selfie stick, which is another bootleg item. Um, I know some people really don't like buying bootlegs. Um, I don't mind when it's something like this where no real version exists. So, you know, you can just couple it with some of your real Sailor Moon items. And between all these, uh, the bootleg's actually kind of useful. For what? I don't know. Maybe you don't want to carry your phone, like go into walking or something, or you just want something to show your friends and talk about. So, yeah, man, it's kind of, it's kind of wacky. But, um, glad you got to learn about this. I'm just going to cover some miniaturely tablets and their gosh upon versions now, just because I can. Um, let's do that. I'm going to show you the difference between the Crystal Star miniaturely tablet that's this right here, and the Gashapon. I know some of you have been asking for a comparison between these two, and I'd like to show you these before I show you a really cool bootleg item. So as you can see, the Gashapon that's on the left is very shiny. It's like a hot pink. Um, the crystals are eh, there. This isn't a crystal. It's just some red paint. You can see the hinge here on the top. And the miniaturely tablet version is more of a pearlized finish with some sparkles inside, and it has a jewel in the middle. Uh, the back is not that interesting on either item. And as you can see, the miniature tablet is smaller. This is what you've got inside here. No mirror, mirror, nah. This is where you're supposed to put that candy that comes with it. And uh, this just pops open. Oop. So you can put some items in there. Okay, glad we got that out of the way. Miniaturely tablet, gosh upon. This one looks a little orangey. I have not put this in the sun. Um, generally speaking, the miniaturely tablets just, they look and, whoa, that's not a good sound. They look and feel better, but the gashapons are larger. Also, you've got a mirror in the gashapon. Next. Star Locket miniaturely tablets, a little more silvery. Gashapon is a little more yellow. Um, these are not as different as the other ones. This one simulates the toy version where it's a wind up and you can just, that's where the candy goes. This one simulates. Oh, this one doesn't have that at all. Yeah, there we go. They both kind of simulate the actual toy. And then there's the it's not easy inside compartment these are very similar um, it's not making a snap season one brooch miniaturely tablets got more crystals this one's got just some red metallic paint ta-da And, yep, I think you're starting to get the picture. This is my life, guys. Buying almost exactly the same thing twice. Um, I bet you a bunch of Moonies are feeling exactly like I am about this whole... Oh my goodness. Oof. This whole scenario. Bandai thinks, let's just release the same item over and over, and the Moonies will buy them. I really like Sailor Moon stars, so I'm really happy they made at least two of these. Um, Gashapon here, miniaturely tablet. The Gashapon seems to have 
more details like the rainbow interior. Or, oh, that's the inside inside container. Uh -oh. There you go. I actually like the Gashapon better on this one. Usually I like the miniaturely tablet better, but close. Oh, well, you get the idea. We've been pretty lucky with these. They have been released a billion thousand times over. We've got pink and we've got red of each. That's the interior there. There you go. And the other two are almost the same. This one just happens to be yellow with a mirror. And the miniaturely tablet. Do 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 do. Yeah. Oh. Ah. I like don't know what to do with all of these. More of the same. Ugh. If you don't already know, this is where I've stuffed most of the miniature tab miniaturely tablets and the gashapon, gashapon, and most of the gashapons, miniaturely tablets here, and so on and so forth. So yeah, that's an overlook. Ugh. That's a look at the miniaturely tablets and Gashapon and the MP3 player, which is on the floor. Tell me what you guys think of this. Would you buy this? I'm kind of actually digging it. Anyway, so yep, this is Sailor Tortilla signing off on a pretty eventful day. Collecting is a drug.